여러분 안녕하세요. TKC 초대석 시간입니다. 오늘 TKC 초대석 이 시간에는 뉴욕시의원 20선거구에 출마장을 던진 샌드라 황 후보님과 함께합니다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네. 황 샌드라입니다. My 네. name is Sandra Ong. I plan to run for New York City Council District 20, which includes Flushing and Fresh Meadows. 네, 만남 뵙게 돼서 정말 반갑습니다. 샌드라 황 후보님을 궁금해하시는 시청자 여러분들 계실 것 같은데요. 샌드라 황 후보님께서 어떻게 이렇게 지역사회를 위한 정치인이 되기로 마음을 먹으신 건지 어, 성장 배경이나 그동안 해오신 활동들에 대해서 소개해 주시면 좋을 것 같습니다. I am a long-time resident of Flushing. I actually grew up in Flushing. I came to Flushing when I was 10 years old. I'm still here with my family. I actually attended the public schools of Flushing, PS22, Junior High School 99, and Flushing High School. I have, for the past 15 years, worked for um, a New York State Assembly member, two council members, no, sorry, two city controllers. And for the last eight years, I've been working for the Congresswoman Grace Meng. I think through these various roles, I have understood the people of this community. I, try, um, I want to make a difference in this community. 네, 후보님께 제가 궁금한 점이 있는데요. 후보님의 그런 가족 구성원에 대한 이야기가 조금 궁금해요. 어떠한 이런 가정 환경에서 자라셨는지 그러한 이야기를 좀 들려주시면 좋을 것 같고요. 또 후보님의 뭐 취미나 좋아하시는 관심사, 요즘에 어떤 것들 좋아하시는지 좀 알려주세요. I was actually born in Cambodia. It was actually during the time of um, Pol Pot. So I left Cambodia pretty early with my family, just my immediate family, my mother, my father, and my um, brother. At that time, I believe we all thought we would be able to go back because I don't think people there understood how bad everything was. Unfortunately, by the time we got to Taiwan, um, my, my mother's family, um, we all, at a certain point, we didn't hear from them ever again. So, you know, this is like a part of my family history. Um, so when I was in Taiwan, we waited a, you know, a couple of years for Taiwan for my uncle who was in the United States at that time to petition for us, petition my mother, you're included. Um, so I actually managed to make it to United States when I was seven years old. When I came here when I was seven, I saved my uncle for a couple of years. And then I moved to Flushing when I was 10 years old. Um, my mother worked for a laundromat, you know, this is, I know a lot of a typical immigrant story, but she worked for a laundromat in Manhattan. She worked uh, six days a week, um, 12 hours a day. Actually, a laundromat was my first job ever. <laughs> I also helped her, you know, this was my way of earning money when I was in high school. Um, my father had some language skills, so he was a, he worked for a very small uh, law firm, like a one-person law firm. That person could speak other languages. My my father actually can speak a couple of languages. Um, so that you know, he actually took care of the family. So he did the laundry, he did the cooking, because my mother was out most of the time. So uh, my parents not obviously retired, but I have actually never left Flushing. Um, again, I went to Hunter College. I went to Columbia Law School. I commuted. <laughs> <laughs> I know that seven train very very well. <laughs> um, and uh, this is where I am, and this is why I actually want to run for this position too because I I want to make a difference in this community where my family and I have been for the last 40 years and we plan to be here. 네, 후보님께서 굉장히 재미있는 가족 이야기를 이렇게 들려주셨는데요. 후보님께서 법학을 공부를 하셨다고 하셨는데 법학을 공부하시게 된 계기도 이렇게 커뮤니티에 이런 뭔가 기여나 이런 것들을 하고 싶어서 결정을 하시게 된 것인지 궁금합니다. I went to law school with vision of wanting to help the community. Not necessary for running for office and being elected officials. So after law school, I did have a corporate job, paid off some student loans. And actually the second job I had there was working for Sanctuary for Families. It's a not-for-profit that helped domestic violence victims. For around two years, I helped domestic violence you know, get orders of protection, represented them in court when they needed um, divorces, and uh, helped them file VAWA petitions. 네, 그렇군요. 후보님께서 또 그레이스 맹그 의원님과 오랫동안 이렇게 일을 같이 해오셨잖아요. 근데 그레이스 맹 의원님과 이렇게 일을 같이 하시게 된 계기나 또 일을 같이 하시면서 뭐 에피소드 이런 것들이 있으면 좀 들려주시면 좋을 것 같습니다. So I actually met Grace Meng when we were in Sanctuary for Families. I actually met her, we are around the same age, we are both attorneys, and she is actually one of the most real humble person I know. At that time, we were just two young 
um, female Asian attorneys starting on a career. We talked about lives, what we want. I had no idea this would be her path. We kept in touch over the years. So after the, her father actually got elected, this was you know in 2005, she asked me to come on board to help her father and that was my first time of being in this field, which was 2005, working as the chief of staff to her father. And then afterwards, I ended up working for the New York City controller, Bill Thompson. I don't remember him, but at that time, he was a New York City controller. He was running to be the mayor of New York City and he lost. <laughs> <laughs> But luckily, John Liu became the New York City controller right after that, so I ended up working for him. I actually spent one year after that working for New York State Parks. And then right after that, I worked with um, the congressman, uh, Grace Meng, uh, for the last eight, uh, eight years. You know, the congresswoman, for me, the most important thing, I know maybe other people will say different things about office, but the most important thing about her office that I do is constituent services. And I want to assure everybody that if elected, constituent services will again be the cornerstone of my city council office. I will make sure their staff that represents the community that it's in. Constituent services, the ability to talk at the ability for people to come into office, feel comfortable coming into office, and to ask questions. We are in an immigrant community where a lot of people come and they might not understand how the government can work for them. Yes, there are some ways that government cannot work for them, but at the very least, we should be able to explain to anyone who comes to our office how to navigate through this process. And I believe that is what every elected official should do. So obviously in the congressman's office, we deal with federal issues such as immigration is a big one. <laughs> immigration, social security, Medicare, IRS, those are usually the ones that people come to office with. But all that said, because you know, everyone knows who she is. A lot of people come to office with many other problems other than the ones I just mentioned. And again, it is just very important for us to explain to them, you know, where they could go to get the help they need. 네, 이번에 특별히 뉴욕시 20선거구에 출마장을 던지셨는데요. 특별히 이 지역구에 출마식에 된 동기가 무엇인지 궁금합니다. So there's a couple of issues that I'm concerned about. Obviously, the first one is small business. Small business is the backbone of um, the Flushing community, especially coming out of the COVID crisis. We have to find ways, not only just to get more resources to small businesses, also to find ways to connect more with the resources that's out there. Maybe provide uh, appropriate language assistance, uh, uh, find ways, for example, to help small businesses in terms of maybe modernize them a little bit, have some website. Like right now, I know there's outdoor dining options for restaurants, but maybe some small business, some restaurants do not understand what that means, what the rules and regulations. So um, I think our community could definitely do more to help them with that. Another issue uh, is education. I'm a supporter of that. just gonna put it out there. I also attended the public schools here in Flushing. I think it's very important to invest in the schools in your community. I don't think sometimes it's necessary for a child to receive a good education to travel an hour, an hour and a half to receive this good education. And um, what's, uh, seniors, seniors is very important. I have two senior parents at home. I take care of them. I know they face a lot of issues uh, from affordable housing. I have a lot of seniors coming, uh, being very sad that they can afford um, housing to quality of life. Right now, senior centers are not open and they definitely need a way to connect with other people and find uh, resources that they need uh, post-COVID. 네, 다양한 부분에 대해서 이렇게 말씀을 해주셨는데요. 아까 질문과 조금 연결되는 질문인데요. 지금 출마하시게 되는 지역구에 가장 필요하다고 보는 게 어떤 것인지 궁금합니다. Okay, I think one of the issues um, is the issue between uh, is the issue uh, food insecurity is a huge issue. I have actually sponsored some of my food distributions because I actually have seen a lot of people um, line up to get free food. Um, I think uh, we know La Jornada, which is by Bland. It's actually heartbreaking when I see the lines to Bland coming to Flushing Library, waiting for hours in the hot sun just to get some food. So I think uh, post-COVID, this is an issue we need to deal with. Um, the unemployment insurance, I believe the extra $600 will be up by the end of July. That's gonna impact people significantly. 
네, 후보님. 후보님께서 만약에 이렇게 당선이 되신다면 커뮤니티 발전을 위해서 어떠한 활동을 해주실 것인지 공약에 대해서 대략적으로 설명을 좀 부탁드릴게요. I think one of the first things um, I want to make it clear is I need to hear what the community needs are. I want to listen to them. I think often maybe elected official thinks I know what's best for the community. I think for me it's very important in the next coming months to go and talk to the small community and ask them what they need. I think they're in the best position to understand what are the problems they're facing and I actually find working for different elected officials' office, they actually have some solutions themselves. And I think it's important for me as a candidate to listen to them. 네, 답변 감사합니다. 샌드라 황 후보님, 이번에는 특별히 또 코로나 팬데믹, 그 다음에 조지 플로이드 인종차별 문제, 여러 가지 이슈들이 있었는데요. 샌드라 황 후보님께서는 이번에 당선이 되신다면 아시안 커뮤니티를 위해서 어떠한 기여를 해주실 수 있는지 말씀 부탁드릴게요. So I'm going to address that issue. I know that's an issue that's on everyone's mind. So I want to, I know right now everybody wants to feel safe, right? Whether you want to feel safe in your home, you want to feel safe walking outside, you want to feel safe with your property, your stores. I want to make it clear that I want to work with everybody, including our local police precinct, to make sure everyone does feel safe. At the same time, I think there is a need for groups, different groups, to communicate better with each other and to really understand the history of discrimination and racism that has occurred in the United States, including discrimination and racism against Asian Americans. Mm, yeah. uh, Central Hong Kong, what do you want to do with your plans? So in the next coming months, as I said, I plan to uh, call, I plan to knock on people's doors, I plan to actually visit small businesses, and I really hope all of you can welcome me and talk to me about what your needs are and how I could help you. 네, 샌드라 황 후보님의 그 다음 행보가 굉장히 기대가 되는데요. 마지막으로 시청자 여러분들께 끝인사와 더불어 당부 말씀 있으시면 한 말씀 해주시면 좋겠습니다. My name is Sandra Ong. Thank you so much today for um, interviewing me. And please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns. Thank you so much. 네, 오늘 후보님 이렇게 자리해 주셔서 감사합니다. 네, TK 스튜디오에서 오늘 이 시간에는 뉴욕시 의원 20선 거구에 출마하시게 될 샌드라 황 후보님을 만나보는 시간 가져봤습니다. 저희가 준비한 소식은 여기까지고요. TK 스튜디오에서 다음 시간에 다시 찾아옵니다. 고맙습니다.